Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about Big Bear AI or BBAI. We last talked about Big Bear back in November 27th of 2024 at a price of $2.15 a share. Uh, Big Bear is a technology, IT services, AI powered decision intelligence solutions, uh, predictive analytics, national security, defense, travel, trade, manufacturing, and supply chain. That's a lot, a lot of activity that they have. They've had a lot of recent events, and there's a big bull case developing for Big Bear, and there's an awful lot of uh, chatter going on. So going back to several many months ago when we, when we picked it up for $2.15 approximately a share, it had a huge run up to over $10 a share at, at that time. And I basically took some pretty nice profits going from $2 to between $8 and $10 to, uh, to cash out of that. It came down quite a bit from there, and but it's kind of in rally mode again for a lot of good reasons. So besides some of the, some of the obvious, they've got a lot of R&D expansion that's going on. And they're, they've got a big push going into... Uh, going into kind of the the, uh, the commercial market and, and away from just purely uh, a government provider uh, or resource. So uh, one of the biggest things that they've got going is this biometric software uh, for that's at use now in international airports. It's made a lot of news. You're talking about 12, uh, 12 airports, and there's a lot more to, to go. And this comes out from a 2024 acquisition of uh, that, they, that they made, uh, basically getting this biometrics company and facial recognition, uh, pretty exciting stuff in, in a huge growth, uh, growth avenue. Uh, I guess aside from that, let's talk about the bull case for this. We know that, that there's a lot of chatter about Big Bear, BBAI, a lot of chatter, a lot of excitement, and for a lot of good reasons, but this often pushes up the stock price quite a bit. Um, there's comparisons to Palantir. Uh, I know this is still in the early phases, but Palantir is, you know, a hundred times the size of, of, of Big Bear. So it brings a lot of excitement that could Big Bear become that. Uh, everybody's talking about it. Uh, the, the new CEO meshes a little bit closer to the Trump administration versus the last CEO. And this guy's very connected and he's making some things happen. So that's very inter interesting. And, and don't forget about the insider trade here. Insiders own about 25% of BBAI. And that's pretty darn impressive. A lot of heavy trade volume. Um, and there's a lot of big tech AI that's making a push here. And Big Bear seems to have a seat at the table and throwing some elbows to create some more space. Um, and with the big commercial use that's that's coming out for their for their products, it's creating a lot of interesting uh, momentum for the company. Let's take a look at those fundamentals and make sure it lines up. So Big Bear with a market cap of about 2.2 billion and a 52-week trading range of a dollar and 16 cents to ten dollars and 36 cents at about 750 right now a share. We're 70 percent of the way towards towards the top. But in the past month, this company has rocketed up 90%. Uh, overall, it's up 69% year to date. One year up over 400%. But since it went IPO'd, it's down actually 25%. So there's still some room at the table. And for a company that that's, has a cash position that's pretty substantial, and they just had a big debt reduction not that long ago, and with revenues pegged at 160 to 180 million dollars for 2025, there's a lot of good things to, to talk about here. Uh, expectations: They just got a a, uh, a nice uh, boost up from from an analyst that moved their price range from six dollars to nine dollars a share. Uh, that's good and in indicating that really the second half of 2025, which we just started, is going to be the ha the half of the year the Big Bear starts to to hit on all cylinders. So also keep in mind that management is key to driving success. New CEO, lots of things going, well-connected, uh, branching out aggressively into the commercial space. There's a lot of good things going on with Big Bear 
And as for me, I was in the position, cashed out. Uh, af after a, a couple of months, made a handsome profit on it. It's time to get back into Big Bear for me. There's a lot going on, a lot of chatter. I like the positioning. I like the growth prospects. And I've begun to accumulate a position. I'm going to continue to nibble at this, see if we have an, a, any kind of a pullback. If we do, I'll be a little bit more aggressive in acquiring a bigger stake and build this out for a long-term a long-term hold this time. Because I, now I see the path you know, it's a little bit clear, stronger leadership, and a lot of opportunity branching away from just government to also commercial as well. Let me know what you're doing. Uh, this looks like a winner to, to me. Be prepared for the long term and hang on tight.